And I was joking with one of the guys today uh, about how many people are going to tell me to <laughs> flip those fenders around. And I had the uh, fenders sitting on there backwards. That's the first thing I did, those back fenders. I had them sitting on there backwards for two weeks. <laughs> and nobody saw it or noticed. It was funny because that's the first thing I did was flip them around. Had them on there backwards. And I may run them that way. Uh, it just depends on when it comes together, the look of it. I'll try them and stand back and gander at it. But I really want to do that as a tribute to Dead Eye Dan. He's the first guy I ever seen do that. And uh, I wish he was around to realize that he was my inspiration for that. I mounted this on here and it's pretty solid, but it's just a tad too far forward. I gotta come back and I'm gonna lower it down an inch. And the fender is not quite centered. It's, um, it's just, just an inch too far forward. So I'm gonna bring it back an inch and that'll put my wheel well in the center. So if my bubble's right in the middle, I may put two inches right in here. If I was a professional, I would be restricted and I'd have limits. I'm an amateur, the sky's the limit, and it's just wonderful. Oh, Sparks, you stuck your head someplace that didn't belong, didn't you? Didn't you, buddy? Yeah. Yeah, something got a hold of you, huh? Is it a coyote? Yeah, something got a hold of you. Be still. Be still for a minute. Thank you. You got a pretty big alley there, buddy. How many lives have you used up? You had it got bit by a rattlesnake and now something else got you. Oh my goodness, what happened? It fell apart. Hmm. I gotta get some of this smoke out of here from the plasma cutter. So pardon the noise, I gotta turn the exhaust fan on. <laughs> Okay, that cab's still gonna come forward, but we're getting there. What I'll do is section that nose cone, shorten it down so it, uh, maybe just run a little bit of the cap there on top so it kind of lines up with the firewall. Anyway, that's down the road, I'll get to it. 
but I'm getting that cab on down there where I wanted it now. Gotta get her in the weeds. Okay, we're getting close. We are getting closer. I can't get it on the shot on the frame. Um, but we're getting closer. I may take a little bit of that uh, rocker under the door. I may trim a little off the bottom of that or I may not. I may just put um, a running board on there and have it come up right to that uh, lettering. Get you down there where you can see it anyway. And uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. what I'm talking about uh, you can't really tell here but that back fender sits out about oh four inches outside this front one but I'm not done with the front one yet I'm gonna set it out further yet I was considering this a couple weeks ago and I made a decision to go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and set these widen these fenders up and set them out uh, probably about four inches and uh, that way I can get the tire that I want under that fender and I, you know I just made that decision without consulting with you guys so um, I guess you'll just have to deal with it because that's what I have to do I have to deal with my decisions <laughs> right Sparks <laughs> anyway that's looking more like it and I will section this uh, nose cone as I said um, probably I might well I might keep I might keep one louver because uh, I at least want to keep a little bit of this this uh, design here this looks a little bit the way a Packard is shaped in the front the old ones but anyway I want to keep that and drop it down into that slot and then this I'll raise up and put it right along here and that'll bring the doge up and right there it says made in USA so I want to bring this up and sit it right here and then where it starts to roll over I'll trim this to a peak and have this uh, the dodge part sit here and uh, the stainless steel go ahead and wrap around just like it does only be higher up and that way that nose cone will set down in front and kind of line up with the top of the firewall top of the cowl there um, I'm gonna have to move my uh, alternator uh, that's no big deal I'll just build a bracket down underneath it's sitting up on top right now but I'll uh, change that and either put it down lower or who knows I might put a pulley on my drive shaft and and run it off the drive shaft back there you just never know what I'm gonna do but this is what I did today okay it's about enough it says my battery's dead so See ya!